What's going on everybody? Welcome back once again as we molt. Super stoked to be here with you guys today. We're playing some more Bloons Tower Defense Battles. One of y'all's favorite games that I play. If y'all are enjoying this, leave a like on the video. Let's try and get a record number of likes for the for Bloons videos that we've had that we've had as of recently. What are we doing? We're playing in just a regular um, battle and we're gonna hop into Bonanza, see if we can find somebody that uh, maybe wants to try and go a little bit late game. Or we're just gonna end up beating him. <laughs> who knows? My favorite thing about Bonanza is that a lot of times people who play in it don't build up eco. And so it seems like you're cheating or it seems like you're breaking the rules because you have so much more, uh, so many more towers and so much more money flowing through that a lot of times they're just like, what the heck is going on? How am I losing to these people? But we're in the 1,000 uh, medallion arena. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, once we choose a map, uh, I'll probably end up saying late game to this guy just to see what he wants to do. Okay, this map could be pretty interesting. Um, we'll go with subs. And... What do I want to do? Let's go subs and... Uh, wizards, I guess. And... You're just going to skip the map like that right at the end, big dog? Alright, we'll play on this one. We'll play. I feel like I've played on this one a lot. Let's skip it. We're skipping that one. We're probably going to get one that I really don't want to play on. Oh my gosh, this is one of those. I hate this map. I freaking hate this map. Here. <clears throat> um, Ninja's going to be good. Wizard's going to be good. And let's try maybe... I don't know what else to grab. <clears throat> Spike Factory. Seriously, Molt? Yep, Spike Factory. Reroll, and okay, we got that. So we're ready up here. I wasn't able to say late game because I was distracted. This map is so difficult to play on, y'all. I'm going to need a wizard with lightning to start off. Um, and I'm just going to throw him right about... Uh, actually, where do I want to throw him? Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go right there as well then. Intense magic, lightning bolt right off the jump. He's going to build two right off the bat. Um... And we're just going to start sending Eco now. I believe it comes up these side ones. Yeah, it does. Um, his are going to come from right there. So we're going to go ahead and just drop all these off right here. He sold his wizard already. I'll go ahead and get Fireball over there. Uh, and hopefully we can stop all of this pretty easily. Let's give this guy a quick thumbs up. And uh, see what we can make happen here. This is like, I, I don't like this map at all. This map is super difficult. Not really a fan of it. He's going to go farms. Okay, so that'll be interesting. So he's going the route of farms. I'm going the route of eco. So obviously this is going to be a fairly interesting matchup. Um, I'll go ahead and get a... Maybe I'll... Yeah, I'll, no, I'll go right here. We'll go right here with this guy. Sharper shurikens, double shot, seeking, distraction. And now I'm just going to start sending as much eco as I can because I'm going to have to get it up. I'm going to have to get a lot of eco down since he's got farms rolling. He's going to have a lot of money. but the thing, And he's still sending eco as he's doing that as well. Um, so we actually could probably start overwhelming him, him a little bit here. Um, but I think it will be okay. So he's already going to have a little bit of an advantage because he's got his farms down. Uh, or because he has one farm and he's building up eco. But that also means that he's not building enough towers. So he's going to have to build a tower here soon. Yeah. So he's going to do that real quick. He does have a good bit of money uh, compared to us. I'm going to get a Flash Bomb Ninja down here in just a little bit. He's still he's sending blues I'm, while I'm sending greens. He doesn't want to spend too much money here. Uh, we're holding it down <coughs> pretty easily. Now he's sending those out. So I'll go ahead and go right here. And we're going to get a Flash Bomb in just a second. Throw this guy on strong. Boom. Flash Bomb down. Now we're going to start sending the yellows. For those of you that don't play this game, you don't know what eco is. I feel like I always have to say this in every video, even though so many... You know, here, here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to explain it. You guys explain what eco down... You guys explain what eco is down in the comments below for anybody who's asking. So if you see any questions where people are like, what's eco? What's happening? You guys explain it to them so that we can just continue focusing uh, and playing here. Um, he just has a whole bunch of wizards down, which is actually very interesting. Uh, the lightning on all of them is super clutch. It's helping him out a good bit. Level 10. Here come the pinks. And he's not sending anything yet, uh, but his lightning is holding off very easily. So we are going to have to probably get a couple more wizards down 
and get some camo detection here in just a second because round 12 uh, we do have camo with our ninjas, but it'd be good for our wizard to see it as well And he's got two factories down there. No, he's got two banana republics. He does not have a factory yet um, Keep on sending come on and Once we get to 3,000 then I might start building some things um, Round 13 he could send a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm actually gonna get rid of this guy and I'm gonna go monkey sense whirlwind and then we'll build one more wizard down right here as well. Magic, lightning bolt, fireball, monkey sense. Okay. And I might go the right route on this one and get um, the flaming wizard just to see what he can do for us. So, wow, he's got an ice tower. Okay. So he has ice tower. We have flash bomb. Pretty much the same thing. Sabotage supply line and whatever that gust ability is. I forgot what it was called. Um... But right now, we're at the place where we can just hold down and we're just going to keep on making money. No problem whatsoever. Now, the only thing about having farms uh, compared to having eco is if I decide to send anything to him, I'm going to lose my eco, thus losing all of my income and the money that I can make. And he's still going to have his farms down. So that's one area where it does get a little bit difficult. Uh, we'll go ahead and go Dragon's Breath on this guy and keep on flowing up here. So he's got one factory down, which is a little bit startling, but I think we'll be okay. I might throw a village down here in the middle just to help us out um, because it will also give us more eco as I upgrade it. So I might throw this village down right in here and it should have all these guys in it. So we'll go Monkey Beacon, Jungle Drums, Monkey Town, Monkey Fort, Radar Scanner. Now everything in there can actually see camo and we should be making more money. Now you can see we're making 8.6 so that's going to be pretty clutch for us. He's going to build another farm down there. And I've got no clue if this guy wants to go late game or not. Um, but this is going to be pretty intense with the towers that we do have down. Um, I might build a spike factory. Just I might get this whole middle area here just having spikes in it. Um, actually, I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe I'll go down the right side with it. We'll go ahead and get Bloonjitsu Ninja and Sabotage Supply Line right here. I might build up a couple more Bloonjitsu Ninjas right here. Just right off the bat. And then I'll build a couple in here as well. Um, and that'll give them a little bit more range. Come on. This map, man. So hard to fit anything. Why did he sell that? He's just going banks now? That's interesting. He's just going banks. He sold his factory and he's just going banks now. Okay. Go for it, my man. Camo balloons coming in. No problem for us whatsoever at this point. I'm going to go ahead and get this energy beacon as well to help us out. And if we can get him to 10,000 eco, he... Oh, he does have a sun god. He's going to start sacrificing. Oh, he's going to crush us. He's going to crush us. On my least favorite map, he's going to crush us. Everybody rolls with that. I'm surprised that uh, he didn't say late game if he was going to bring that strategy. He's going to take us out unless we can save up here and send enough stuff to, to end up dominating him, which I think is going to be pretty difficult, honestly. Can I fit a monkey in here? No. Go ahead and go right here. Sabotage supply line right there. Um, and I'm going to start building a whole bunch of um, spike factories down in here. We'll go <clears throat> spike mines. And I'm going to see if I can fill in the majority of this area over here with these things. We'll go ahead and get Spike Storm to help out. And it doesn't look like that many are actually going to be able to fit in here, which is pretty frustrating. <clears throat> I don't need any more eco at this point. Um, he just sold one of his he just sold one of his uh, super monkeys over there. I should be able to fit some ninjas in there. Go ahead and get another one of these. Let's see if we can win on our least favorite map here, y'all. That's going to be the, the, the hope and the plan. Can we fit another one up in here? No. Okay, so no more of them. We should be able to fit ninjas in here somewhere. Yep. Yeah. So we can fit one right here. Hot little boon jitsu ninja. Get another flash bomb ninja. I've got three of those abilities, <clears throat> so we're okay there. Put another blue jitsu in here. Can I fit another one anywhere up in here? Oh, did I just see a spot right there? Yes, I did. <clears throat> another flash bomb ninja. And then 
Go ahead and go right here. And then on the outer ring, I might end up doing just a whole bunch of wizards to, to help out with everything. Uh, especially around this left side. Just because as things start going over all these mines, we should be able to pop them. I can't fit anything in there. Man, the, the layout of this map is so frustrating. Go right here. Build some more wizards up in here. As well. This guy's not Summon Phoenix, and this guy's not Tempest Tornado yet. And... I'll get him right here. Tempest Tornadoes are pretty good, but um, a lot of times they just keep the balloons on the map for too long, and it can get pretty frustrating. Uh, or it can get pretty scary as the game goes on. So we're going to probably end up getting to a point where we have got to send this guy stuff if we want a chance to win because he actually knows what he's doing he's building the correct um super monkeys with all of their abilities etc etc david h241 coming in super hot can i build over here come on what it, oh my gosh this map there's so much wasted space on this map y'all it's crazy my man just saving up over there? I feel like he's just saving up right now. And it's kind of scaring me. We'll go with wizards over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so he just made he just made a temple up there. We're done. Like, that temple, that temple can probably defend just as well as everything that I already have down on the map. So that's going to be uh, pretty rough on us, honestly. We can fit a whole bunch of wizards over here, though. Look at this. Oops, their hitbox is so small that we should be able to fit a whole bunch just up here into this. It's going to be hard to see, to end up knowing where all I've built and upgrading them without clicking on my energy. I hate having to build up here in this corner underneath this because of the energy that's up there and being able to accidentally hit it. It can be pretty stressful sometimes. Alright, I know we can fit more up in here, so we just got to keep on working our way straight up into the corner. Getting things going. Look at that, like all the way up here. I just, um, I didn't click and drag on that one and it scared, oh, whoa, what? No way. We're crushing right now. This corner is one of the hardest places to build in, so that's why I like to try and build in it when I'm not under pressure. Under pressure. Because that can just get super stressful as you're trying to build up here. Uh, with all the balloons going by and whatnot, it can get pretty intimidating. So this guy is about to have two maxed out super monkeys down. Two maxed out uh, temples, which is not going to be good for us at all. I'm going to get a whole bunch of balloon jitsu ninjas up here. Try and help us out. And then I kind of want to build another one of these up in here because even though it looks like they have a big footprint they don't look at that you can build right underneath it um i am a little bit worried because this guy is like he's gonna win unless we unless we're able to take him out all right i need to just do more sun gods i mean more summon phoenixes that's going to be the most important thing for us probably right now. Is getting Summon Phoenixes down. I'm starting to run out of money too, surprisingly. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start sending Eco here again. <coughs> you can see he's melting everything so much quicker than we are. Not so much quicker. It's, it's, it's fairly close. But once the ZOMGs start coming out and we start having to deal with that, we're going to be in trouble. We're going to be in a lot of trouble. So, I gotta figure out something to do here. Can I fit one of these in here somewhere? No, I might build one right here. And max it out. To the left, to the left. Everything you own and up. Be quiet, Molt. Okay, sorry. Get one of those down. 
Building up here, getting another one of these big stacks down. And I need to build up my eco more. I'm gonna try and get to about 10,000. He's gonna end up sacrificing his banks over here. And he hasn't been sending eco. So once he sacrifices his banks and loses all of those, uh, then we're gonna have a pretty big advantage on him. Because his towers are not cheap. His towers are not cheap, as you guys know. Can I sneak one of these in here? Was that a spot that I just saw? Nope, no sneaking them in there. All right, we gotta find this, this magic spot right here. I hate this side of the map, it's so hard to build. I'm gonna use one sabotage supply line right there. Um, we have three left, so I'm gonna build one more just so we have five. But -da 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 -da. I feel like my wizards are doing the most damage right now, but I could be wrong. Well, that's just what it's that's just what it's feeling like. You know what I mean? You know when you you just get a feeling. You guys know what I'm talking about when you just get one of those feelings. I got a feeling. Why am I still doing this? I need to only be building um, summon phoenixes because they're going to be extremely clutch and helpful for us at the end. Also, why am I not building up here where all the things are coming out? Yo, the wizards have such a small hitbox. It's amazing hitbox. They have such a small... I guess it's called a hitbox, even if they don't take damage. Right? Wouldn't it be called a hitbox? I think it would. I'm just going to use a couple of those. Use one of these abilities. To help us out as all these balloons are coming around. He's going to absolutely destroy us. I should have brought the right towers, y'all. I should have brought the right freaking towers. And boom. We have 27 summon phoenixes. That's insane. I'm gonna sell some of these Tempest Tornadoes and get some more summon phoenixes down. Why you ask? Because I want to. Look at this, we can like fit this in the middle of this crowd up here. Come on. I'm about to say, I know another one fits, so I'm gonna start out. Oh, look at this! How are we stopping this uh, quicker than him right now? That was pretty crazy. Um, I may also, when does it get affected by that? Right here? I might build this in here. Actually, I won't might. I just did build it in there. So what are you talking about, Mo? <laughs> uh, am I a little bit worried? Yes, but am I surprised that we're holding off as well as we are? Yes, I am. On my least favorite map, we're actually holding it down fairly easily. Round 41. 41. He's taking out the Moabs a little bit easier. I'm gonna uh, set some of these guys just randomly on strong up in here. Some of the ones at the top. We'll go ahead and use a couple of those and throw one of those down as well. Some of these guys will put on strong. Some of these guys will put on strong. I'll throw this guy on strong. We'll throw this guy on strong. All right, we're holding it down. We're holding it down, y'all. Honestly, the, uh... <coughs> these guys? The Tempest Tornadoes? Should probably all be towards the back. Um, because that's when we're gonna start seeing actual balloons, and we're gonna need them to knock them back for us. We have so many, uh... Summon Phoenixes down, y'all. 40, we're up to 45. Literally up to 45 Summon Phoenixes. That's insane. Keep on rolling here. Fitting everything in that we can. And honestly, I'm surprised I don't have more eco. So he has one bank that he store that he's storing down there at the bottom that honestly at this point isn't going to be making him that much money. So I'm going to keep sending some eco. I'm going to use the Sabotage Supply Line here. One, two, three, four, five Summon Phoenixes. 
And I guess we'll go ahead and use one of these as well. Just to help us out a little bit. It's starting to take a little bit of damage. More than what he's done. How are we doing so good? It's surprising, y'all. Let's see who's pops first. Mine did. Wow. Slow him down again. Use one more of these. I guess we'll just go ahead and use this thing, too. Can we melt that, please? Thank you. Nice. It didn't put it in the trash can. I was right. Yo. How are we owning this guy right now? There's a spot in here somewhere. Right here. Look at that. Nobody would have even seen that. Look at all these. It's so compact. It's crazy. I hate these corners, man. If you're going to have corners on a map like this, I think you need to... Um, I think that you need to have a troop that can fit in a corner. Or a tower that can fit in a corner. We're going to just use one of these as well. Get down more of these guys. And then you know what I honestly might do since none of these will really be in range down here? Is I'm going to build more of these with their ability. Uh, because this ability will help us a good bit. And they're almost... And it's practically out of range. Like any tower that would be down there would pretty much be out of range. So I'm just going to build a line of these down here at the bottom. As tight as we can get them. Uh, just so that we can have those abilities. And yes, we could get a Summon Phoenix down there as well. Uh, but I think that these abilities are going to be pretty clutch for us. I built that last one a little bit too high. It's okay, though. I think we'll be okay, y'all. Sabotage Supply Line. He's going to use his slowing ability as well. Will this fit there? No. Okay, so now we go back to Summon Phoenixes now. Dude, they fit so well in here. One, two, three, four, five. Use that as well. And start building more Summon Phoenixes because honestly, I think that the Summon Phoenixes is, is what's going to make us crush this. Uh, we have 55 of them right now. Can we please take this balloon down? Anyone? Once that pops, I'll go ahead and do this. Use another Sabotage. More Summon Phoenixes down. How is he not... Uh, like dominating me. That's my question. Alright, holding it down. Yo, look at this. They're making their way around on his screen. What is happening? I mean, I'm okay with it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, guys. All of these are also in range of, um, I feel like we might be able to fit two in here, but that, nah, we're not going to be able to fit two. We now have 56 of these abilities, y'all. You literally have got to be kidding me. And I think we're full. Nope. I can fit one more. Oh, wow. I can fit a couple more. I think I can fit one more right here. Sabotage apply line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty 20, 20 of those. Why? Because I have 49 left. That's freaking ridiculous that we have so many of those. Oh, he already popped it. I'm just going to use one of these abilities as well. All right, I think that we're good. I don't think we can fit anything else. I'm going to kind of move around these. Oh, yeah, found a spot. Yo, how are we? Oh, is he about to send to me? He's sending to me. So I'm going to start sending to him. Even though we don't have that much money for it. And we got to hold this down, y'all. I'm literally summoning all of these. And we're and now we're going to start sending these out. Use this. Use this. Use them all. Sorry about the dogs barking. There's probably a package at the door. Look at this lag. Why are none of my balloons going out? Can you please send them? Did I send the wrong ones? I probably sent the wrong ones. Use more of these abilities. I just used up a lot of my eco, though. Oh, wait. He didn't send to me. Those were just the regular ones in the thing. All right. Well, we're coming after him now. We're coming after him now, ladies and gentlemen. 
This is lag right now, not sabotage supply line, so I need to keep that in mind. And since I'm not gonna send anymore because I thought that those were just him. I'm surprised, like this is why Eco matters. This is why Eco matters. Um, he only had his couple of farms. And so he wasn't able to do too much. I'm gonna send down uh, my last little spike thing right there just to make sure. Look at this guys, they're getting towards the end on his side. My opponent disconnected. Please tell me that he didn't just rage quit. Did my least favorite map just make my opponent rage quit? Come on. 16? Is that 15? 12? 11? 10? 9? 8? 7? 6? Don't end like this. 5? 4? 3? 2? 1? He rage quit. Let's go! He had to have rage quit, right? Opponent declined. Let's go, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Come on! My least favorite map just made him rage quit. That's what I'm talking about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.